So it's the last day of the Stockholm Fashion Week. How do you think it's been? It's been really, really good. And, you know, it's just, it's obviously it's not a week, it's a few days. So, you know, it's really easy to like pick out your favorites straight away. And I really loved like Nakna and Karen Wester. And I love the styling at Cheap Monday. And um, I like the spirit at Hope. You know, there are like certain elements that I like from a lot of the shows. Do you know Mailer that's showing here in a second? No, I think it's her first show at uh, Stockholm Fashion Week, but I looked at her previous collections and it looks quite interesting, so I'm looking forward to see it. I have very high expectations because I'm a, I'm a fan, actually. I buy her dresses, so I think they, they I really like them, so uh, I'm excited. What do you hope to see? Just more great dresses. I think she does that so well. The next show that we're inviting you along to is from Mela, who is showing her very first runway collection today. Her design has a retro feel to it and she aims to create timeless clothes that she hopes becomes wardrobe favorites. I'm working with a vintage chic look. My first inspiration was from Bonnie and Clyde. It was filmed in the 60s, but it's a 30s style. So I wanted to get those lines and that silhouette in the collection, but still to make it contemporary. I worked with natural beige and gray, but also like the macaron colors, uh, like vintage pastels or dusty pastels. And there was a lot of flowiness in there. Tell me about the, the fabric. Uh, I work mostly with uh, silk crepe de chine. I think it's amazing when it's not too shiny. It has a nice flow and it's still matte sheen almost. I want like a business look where you can feel comfortable but still young. And uh, the same with the dresses that it's if you're going to party and you don't want to look like your mother and. Uh, or not too young. It's just something where you feel comfortable in your body and uh, the way the dress moves. You can move around in it. This is one of the main pieces in the collection. So I work a lot with the vintage buttons and uh, I try to do simple models but with details. So I work with the pleats and the ruffles and I think that vintage chic feels uh, very right, right now. <laughs> and uh, also more grown up style. Um, and of course, vintage chic, but also the minimalism. I think it's been uh, quite an interesting uh, three days that we've been uh, shown here. Uh, although I was a little bit disappointed for the lack of color because I think it's almost like an, an autumn collection in many cases and, and not the spring-summer collections. I, I would have loved to see more bright colors. That's my only disappointment. Otherwise, I think there were some very strong collections and uh, nice tailoring in, in many places. 